by the time we came out it was already 9 pm and i was so eager to get back home as i was going out i realized i had forgotten to check on the patients i had admitted previously so i quickly went back in and saw that all the patients were fine except for this 70 year old lady who was complaining of difficulty breathing i was very tempted to put a medicine consult and just go back home but i wanted to get an ecg done just to make sure she was fine when i looked at the ecg it immediately came to me as my professor always said if there is a right heart strain there would be a typical marrow pattern on the leads v1 to v6 and that's what i saw on the ecg i called my cardiology colleague he told me this patient had developed pulmonary thromboembolism because of prolonged immobilization and he had to take her immediately for treatment and this saved her life the reason i'm telling you this story is because in your practice you will come across many such difficult and confusing cases but if your basics and concepts are rock solid you will never miss out on things that actually matter and the same goes for your exams you will come across difficult questions you will come across complicated case scenarios but if you stick to your fundamentals and clinical concepts trust me the answer will come to you one way or another and that's exactly what we try doing with maro 5 where each module is designed with a lot of clinical focus if you go and hit somebody what happens your knee is thrown and it hits the dashboard of the car when it hits the dashboard of the car can you imagine which bone will fracture the bone that is sitting right over here which bone is that patella the patella will fracture and once the patella is fractured what will happen the tibia will start translating posteriorly so what will tear now the pcl will tear and also now the femur will go hit the dashboard and then what happens posterior dislocation of hip 